family, friends, celebrities, and hundreds of fans gathered yesterday to pay their final respects to James Gandolfini, the beloved star of The Sopranos, who died suddenly of a heart attack in Italy last week. ABC's Gio Benitez has the story on the actor they simply called Jimmy. Hundreds of emotional fans carrying signs lined the block as James Gandolfini's casket arrived at New York's Cathedral Church of St. John the Divine. Among those who came to mourn, Sopranos co-stars Michael Imperioli and Edie Falco, even New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, his wife Deborah Lynn accompanying the hearse, along with his 13-year-old son Mike, the last person to see Gandolfini alive, now a pallbearer at his funeral. During the 90-minute private service, friends and colleagues eulogized him. I was family in there. I mean, a lot of tears in there. We lost, our, we lost family. Someday soon. You're going to have families of your own. And if you're lucky, you'll remember the little moments. The star of The Sopranos died last week of an apparent heart attack while on vacation in Italy with his son. Inside the cathedral, the show's creator, David Chase, compared Gandolfini to the actor's son, saying Gandolfini was also amazed and confused and loving. The paradox about you as a man is that I always felt personally that with you, I was seeing a young boy. And that was why I think you were a great actor, because of that boy who was inside. Chase wrote his eulogy as a letter addressing Gandolfini as Dear Jimmy and closing it with Love David. Outside, signs around the neighborhood honored the 51-year-old actor. One sign simply reading, Thank you. And the funeral was closed to the press, but it was reportedly filmed by HBO as a gift for Gandolfini's family.